Hi, thank you for watching this video. My name is Severin and this is a blog that empowers people to become successful freelancers. Today I would like to talk to you about academic writing, one of the most underappreciated areas of freelance writing. I will briefly present you five facts about this profession and you will decide for yourself whether it is worth your attention or not. The first fact is that academic writing is a very profitable niche. Really, I'm not kidding. Uh, it is super easy to earn $1,000 here. It is possible to earn $5,000. Moreover, I know uh, some ways that can boost your income up to $10,000 per month. I have never tried them, but uh, still I am aware of them in theory. Of course, it's very hard. You will spend all your time on this, but still it is possible. So don't think about academic writing as uh, exclusively a way of securing an additional income. Uh, eventually, it can become a viable choice of a primary career that will pay for your bedding, your house, your car, vacation, everything. The second fact is seasonality. I think everyone has heard about it, but still I must mention it because uh, seasonality is the most popular feature of academic writing. Unfortunately, most orders uh, come in uh, spring and uh, autumn seasons and writers uh, do not have any jobs in uh, winter and uh, summer seasons. This is because of the specifics uh, of um, the academic year, you know, when most uh, assignments are due. There are some things that you can do about it to secure a constant flow of orders. I will talk about them in some other video, like for example, the possibility of becoming a dissertation writer who has uh, the same amount of work throughout the entire year. But still, in most cases, uh, you will uh, earn most of your money uh, during high seasons. If you, consider, if you are considering the option of becoming an academic writer, please expect that in the beginning it will be more of a seasonal job. You will work during uh, spring and uh, autumn seasons and you will do something else for the remaining part of the year. I mean, big bucks eventually will come for you and they will be constant <laughs> throughout the entire year, but it will not happen right away. The third fact is that academic writing is very interesting. Really, you can learn about the specifics of the political system in New Zealand, the features of raccoons, uh, or the ways to measure the dialectic strength of insulator materials, whatever uh, suits you, really. If you are smart about it, you can design your career in a way that you will mostly work on those topics that are interesting to you anyway. I mean, uh, let's uh, assume that you like Buddhism, right? You spend some time on reading about it on Wikipedia and many other sources, many other platforms. Uh, you have read some books, articles about it, but here in the academic writing world, you are paid for reading and then writing about the things that are interesting to you anyway. It's fabulous, isn't it? The fourth fact is that most uh, high-earning academic writers cooperate with credible academic writing services. They do not work on freelancer.com, Upwork, or, or most other global uh, freelance websites where everyone can apply for a job. They work with niche uh, platforms that have very strict recruitment procedures that filter out like 90% of candidates or maybe even more. Uh, all these websites are very different from each other in terms of rating system, compensation, terms uh, of uh, um, account termination and uh, other specifics. Uh, but uh, the bottom line is that there is no, there is no other way uh, to earn at least $3,000 per month than to be applied with one of such platforms. Please read everything about them on the internet that is possible, choose wisely, apply for like five, six academic writing platforms and in case if you applied in one of them, this is your chance to become a high earning freelance. Finally, the last fact is that the competition in the market is fierce. Even if everything goes as planned and you are approved as a an employee of a large uh, or niche uh, uh, academic writing service, you will compete with many people for every order, especially during low seasons. The only way 
to get ahead of all these people is to improve your rating. Every uh, platform has its own system of rating calculation and the people with high rating are much more likely to get orders, uh, high paid orders uh, than the rest of freelancers. So you should uh, spend a significant amount of time on learning all the aspects of this rating, maybe reading the reviews and recommendations of other people who used to work there. And after that, you should uh, design a strategy that would allow you to secure the highest possible rating in the shortest amount of time. Maybe you might think that rating is not important, you should just work and uh, that's all, but no, no, please believe me. The strategy here is crucial. Uh, the rating on every platform is different, is unique and uh, requires uh, uh, pecul peculiar uh, things from you like uh, getting high customer satisfaction rates even if the quality of papers is low or in contrast uh, customer satisfaction rates might not matter because everything is determined by the quality assurance team in any case you should monitor the situation you should carefully read the terms and agreement uh, that you signed with this platform and you should plan your career accordingly this is your only chance to overcome the fierce competition Thanks for checking out the video. As usual, I will be very grateful for your likes. I will also personally respond to every comment uh, related uh, to the content of the video or your freelance career. I will readily give you advice if you are struggling uh, with uh, a certain stage of your freelancing uh, profession. <laughs> well, there is not much to do with this current situation anyway. Please subscribe to my channel and uh, stay updated for new videos that will come soon. Have a nice day.